March Madness book number eight is Exo Ox, A Love Story by Adam Rex, illustrated by Scott Campbell. Exo Ox. Dear Gazelle, for some time now, I have wanted to write a letter to say how much I admire you. You are so graceful and fine. Even when you are running from tigers, you are like a ballerina who is running from tigers. I think that what I am trying to say is that I love you. XO Ox. Dear Ox, thank you for your letter. I hope you understand that I have many admirers and cannot reply to each one personally. Please enjoy the signed photo of me that I have enclosed for your collection. Au revoir, Gazelle. Dear Gazelle, I do understand that you must have many, many admirers and cannot reply to each letter personally. So it means so much that you replied personally to mine. XO Ox. Dear Ox, thank you for your letter. I hope you understand that I have many admirers and cannot reply to each one personally. Please enjoy the signed photo of me that I have enclosed for your collection. Au revoir, Gazelle. Dear Gazelle, this is an amazing coincidence. I have written you two letters and both times you have written back using the exact same words. I think this shows that you are very smart and have a tidy mind. I hope that what I wrote before did not cause you to think that I only love you because you are pretty. I also love you because you are smart. XO Ox. Dear Ox, thank you again for your letter and your compliments. Though I have many faults, I would not want anyone to think that I am repetitive. So here is a third and final letter different from the first two. There is no need to write me again. Au revoir, Gazelle. Dear Gazelle, I will tell you, I almost fell out of my chair laughing when you said you have many faults. That is ridiculous. If you ask me, you only have one or two faults. XO, Ox. Dear Ox, you have made a mistake. I suppose you cannot help it since you are an ox and probably have a clumsy brain. But when I say that I have many faults, people usually like to tell me that I do not have any faults at all. Unlike some animals who may have many faults, such as that they are too large and too stout and have a strong smell about them and clumsy brains. Au revoir, Gazelle. Dear Gazelle, I think I understand what you meant by your last letter, and I thank you for your honesty. I do have many faults. I think it's important that I know what they are. You make me want to be the best ox I can be. So I thank you again. You are the unflattering light of my life. I eagerly await your next letter. XO Ox. Dear Ox, there will be no next letter. I am not writing you any more. This letter doesn't count. Au revoir, Gazelle. Dear Gazelle, your sense of humor is a delight. Did I tell you already that I love your sense of humor, plus your beauty and your mind? XO Ox. Ox, stop this. Please do not write me again. You are wasting your time. I could never love a clumsy thing. I could never love a smelly thing. I could never love an animal that is too large and too stout and who is so thick and ungraceful and awful and unlovely and unlovable. I could never, ever love an ox. Dear Gazelle, I know you couldn't, but I think it is good that you've admitted one of your faults. It makes me love you even more. XO Ox. Dear Ox. The end. <laughs>